Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out three scripts, um, because they're kind of simple scripts, but I kind of wanted to do a little bit more than just one, um, so we're gonna get into it. Uh, quick note, if you are new here, please consider subscribing. Only 14% of people who watch these videos are actually subscribed, and if you are a long-time subscriber and want to support us more, go ahead and hit the join button down below. It really helps us out on a monthly basis. Anyway, let's get straight into this. So, uh, we're going to be covering three scripts today. The no god mode script, the simple watermark, and the disable wanted level. So a lot of people run um, roleplay servers. They don't want um, god mode enabled for players. They don't want wanted level enabled for players. That's two of the most common requests I get is how to make a roleplay server. We're going to have a full video on a new playlist going through how to create a server one by one where you'll go along with me. But today we're just going to be looking into how to install those two and then a simple watermark. And this one literally just puts like your name of your server on the top left hand corner. A lot of people have been wondering how to do that as well so we're just gonna go ahead and do this um one thing this is part of this person's uh script collection i'll leave the link to this on the description below if you're really interested in any of the other resources as well they're really really cool they have repel ones ip systems all that good stuff i've covered a few of them in the past but we're going to be just covering these three today um i am finally on break so be prepared for more videos and please let me know down in the comments below if you have gotten a notification for this video, mainly because um, we weren't getting notifications out this week for some reason. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So what I'm going to do first of all is just download the first uh, files, and you just have to click the download file um, on all of these. If you go to the download here on Google Docs, you're just going to click the download button in the top right hand corner for every single one of these, and you can see it will open a new tab and make it a zip file. And there we go, our three are downloaded, and we'll go ahead and open these up. Um, just like we normally do, we're going to go in our server data resources folder where we keep all the resources for our server. If you don't have a server already, uh, make sure to go create one and you can see we have three uh, WinRars here with the different items. So we're just going to go ahead and go one by one here. We're going to start with the watermark. So you can see in here is the watermark and the underscore underscore resource So we're going to drag in the watermark. Then we're going to check here, make sure there's nothing there other than another folder. And then we're going to drag it in, no god mode. And then same thing with never wanted, make sure that all the resource underscore underscore Lulos are there, and you can see we've dragged, in, dragged all those three in. And then we can go to our server.cfg and edit it with Notepad or Notepad++, whatever you use. I recommend Notepad++ in this case. And then you're going to type ensure, and then you're going to use the names of the folder. So this one is watermark, so ensure watermark. Then you're going to do again ensure, and then whatever the other folder's name is. This one's never wanted, but this one has a cap, so never wanted. And then we're going to do the final one, which we can close out these when we type the name. No god mode, which is all underscore. Um, there we go. Save that. You can go ahead and close your server.cfg now, and you've installed that. Now, we're going to go over real quick how you can enable the watermark. So go down to the watermark.lula um, file and edit it with Notepad++. And in here, you just set the name of the server. In my case, I'm just going to set it to BJQ Development. Um, you can go ahead and make it rainbow text. I'm going to make it rainbow text. Rainbow text is cool. Um, text font, the transparency, the color, uh, location, etc. You can configure it all to your liking as well, which is a really cool feature to have. It's that easy to install. Now, if you go ahead and start your server, or to make sure it's loaded up properly, you're just going to wait inside of the console here for the message that says started resource and the folder names. Um, in our case, we have our three folder names, so we're going to wait for that to go ahead and get started. Um, it takes a second because 5M sometimes slow. Uh, here we go. So we should be able to see it just about now. Right there. Watermark, never wanted in god mode, all have started up successfully. So we know we have started the server and those have been installed. Let's hop in and look what it seems like. All right, so we are in game here, and you can kind of see behind the 5PD logo in the top left-hand corner our little rainbow text. Obviously, if you're using 5PD and you still want that text, you may want to move that text to the right-hand side so it's not covered up by both the 5M logo and the 5PD logo. Um, so I would go ahead and move that to the right if I were you, if you're running those two resources or five, because five M's in the corner or whatever. But, um, it does, it's there, so we know that has worked. Um, we also have installed Never Wanted and stuff, so if we go ahead, um, whoops, Steam. Uh, if we go ahead and give myself all the weapons in the world and somehow get over to the... Uh, street over here we can see regardless of how many people I kill I'm going to have never uh, get stars or anything so we know that whoops so we know that has worked successfully uh, I don't exactly know why um, I'm not getting out of this menu oh I think oh I have a V menu installed as well uh, so it's kind of glitching out a little bit but um obviously if I went ahead and did this um, it would go ahead and never get me wanted. Even though I'm kind of invisible, I won't be wanted regardless. Um, 
of any of that. So there you go. You've installed the resources. Hopefully this did help you create your server a little bit. And if you're interested in uh, more resources, leave the names of them down in the description below and I can make sure to look into it when I have the time. Thank you so much for watching today's video. My name is Noodles. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.